loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. No, you see, my mother doesn't love me. Why should she? She wants excitement and romance and younger men. And here I am, already 25. When I'm not around, she's only 32. When I am, she's 43, and she hates me for that. Besides, she knows that I don't approve of the theater. She adores the theater. She thinks she's serving humanity in the sacred cause of art. In my opinion, the theater today is boring and trite. The curtain goes up and between three walls lit by artificial light, the actors of today, these high priests of art, parade around showing us how to eat and drink and love and walk and wear our clothes. And then the playwright tries to squeeze some kind of moral out of some kind of little moral all perfectly fit for home consumption. And each play repeats itself like this with only infinitesimal variation. It's enough to make me want to run, just as Maupassant, who fled the Eiffel Tower because he knew it would cheapen his mind. We need new kinds of theater, Nina. We need new forms. And if we cannot have them, we are better off with no theater at all. I love my mother, but she leads a stupid life, always fussing over that writer of hers, always getting her name in the papers. I know it's probably selfish, but I, I sometimes wish I didn't have a famous actress for a mother. I wish that she were just an ordinary mortal. I think I'd be much happier. Can you imagine what it's like for me, life at home with her, Nina, how I must feel? The living room is always full of actors and writers, famous people, and the only nobody there is me. And who am I? What am I? I, I am my mother's son, and that's the only reason they put up with me. And I left university my third year, owing to circumstances, as they say, beyond our control. I haven't any talent. I don't have a Kopech to my name. I, my passport says I am a, a bourgeois of Kiev. That's my social position. My father was a bourgeois of Kiev, only he happened to be a famous actor. So when these actors and writers and musicians get together in my mother's living room and they happen to notice me, all I can think of is how they are measuring my insignificance. It's like I can get inside their heads and it is putting me through agonies. That was your best one. Good okay, job. great. Well done. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it, it completely changes the Treplev. 